game plan. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, I want to share with you guys my day-to-day -day routine when I get up in the morning um, before I trade the market. How do I go about building my watch list for the day? Um, so you guys have seen, I've actually shown you some of the watch lists that I have uh, on the channel, but how do I go about building that watch list for that specific day? So I'm going to show you guys um, in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth so if that's something that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content so um, again how do i go about choosing what i'm going to trade for that day or even building a watch list for the day um, you guys know my strategy uh, mostly focusing on gappers so this is stocks that i don't really uh, care to uh, hold them long term i just want to catch momentum ride it and get out so how do i build that watch list so i'm going to show you guys so i I usually start with my cell phone so um because when i get up before I, I get down to my office uh, i start building my watch list even when i'm drinking coffee um upstairs so let's jump right in so i'm going to show you guys just walk you through where i build that watch list so again when i get up first thing in the morning i go into the weibo app you go under where it says market that's the first uh, place you want to go on the market and then you see where it says pre market that's when i click on that and i'm going to see a list of the top five gappers for that morning so it shows you the percentage change right there the higher the percentage and uh, that's where you rank number one so i look at it so once i see a gapper then the next step is i click on that uh, and we would does a really good job at providing you why that is gapping so i can go on there where it says news um in this case this one doesn't have any news so i'm going to back up out of this one let's pick uh let's say this one and I look at it, it's like, okay, maybe this is a gapper. Why is it gapping? So I go on the news. Usually it will tell me some sort of news that is pushing the stock to go up. So I read the news, see if it's something that makes sense. And then uh, once I read that news, if I like it, and then uh, on the top right corner here with the star, I click on that. It says add to watch list. I select which watch list I want to add to and then click OK. See the star right now shows it's in my watch list. So that is already in my watch list. And then I go back then I look at the next one. Uh, so let's say this one, I open it. Same thing. I read, I go on the news. I look if there's any news. In this case, it's no news. I, I don't know why this one have any news. So let's see another one here. There's news. So I open it, go here, say news. And all these ones don't have any news, but this is where I would go. So even if I go to, let's say, uh, some of the watch lists that I already that I already have, I can go here. Let's just say uh, we pick one of these ones and you open it. You look at the watch list. Say, hey, what's going on here? Um, look at the news. If there's any news, uh, why this stock is actually gapping, it would show me right here, and I can take a look at that again. Add it to my watch list. And then once I have that watch list, that is what I'm gonna start trading um, for that day. When I come down to my office, I'm gonna sit down, open that watch list, and then I, I'm gonna switch from my from my phone. I'm gonna switch over to my desktop. Uh, once on my desktop stop i can open that watch list again and then decide which of those really make sense because usually i try to get about three to five good stocks in there and those are the ones that I, i'm just trading gappers again i'm not trading everything um on that list i'm just going to look at the ones that make the most sense for me and that's the ones that i'm going to trade and then i'll look at it and sometimes i can look if there's an opportunity for me to trade pre-market or an opportunity for me to wait and trade when the market opens um sometimes you see uh towards the market opening you see some of the stocks will start gapping i can go in there and trade it and i've told you guys here on the channel uh trading pre market is a very risky thing to do so you have to be very smart don't go in and pay, take a, a big size or big position because uh, there's not a ton of volume going around so if you buy and you're trying to sell you might not be able to sell at the price that you want to because there's not a whole lot of volume so you have to be very careful so I try to limit the amount of size that I take or I trade during pre-market but as soon as the market open it's open season so usually the market opens and I'll wait for a little bit and see which direction these things are going sometimes the market opens it would just gap a little bit and then pull back and sometimes it would pull back before start gapping so i wait and be patient guys patience is key in this case if you rush into it you know it's going to be like you rushing into a slaughterhouse um be very careful because you go in it's going to smack you right in the face so if you think you see a gap a little bit you jump in and then next thing you know it stops and start pulling back that's why I always advise that before you go in in these gappers, 
Always make sure that you have your stop loss, how much you're willing to lose. If you say my my goal is to, you know, lose $50 to make $250 or $300, set that stop loss and stick to it. Go in and if it hits you and kick you out, that's better than you pulling and then sitting there waiting, hoping that it would go back. Hope is not a strategy in the stock market. I can guarantee you that if you are hoping you are gonna lose money every time, have a strategy, stick to that strategy. Again, guys, I've shared my strategy here and I'm gonna do an updated video with some of the other tools that I've added into that process to guide me with my trading. So I'm gonna share that with you guys here on the channel. But again, hope is not a strategy. So that is how I go about building my daily watch list. Um, and that's how I would look at the stocks that I'm trading or the gappers that I'm going to trade. And sometimes um, I don't trade anything on that list. I would trade some of the major stocks that you know uh, from like Tesla to Neo to Apple to Microsoft. Some of the big names, I'll trade those if that's where the opportunity is. Um, and then some of the things that I do trade is would be maybe I'm looking like earnings report and I'm going to do a separate video on how to trade uh, earnings report. So um, that's it for this video. Let me know in the comment section, what do you think? Uh, about uh, making and sticking to a strategy. Is that something that you practice or you just jump in and look at what's happening in the market and go with the flow? Again, if you have a good strategy, it would prevent you from making mistakes and losing money in the market. Again, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. And also, if you're looking to get started with investing, guys, we both currently doing a promotion right now where if you sign up and deposit $100, you get four free stocks, not one, not two, not three, four free stocks for depositing $100. Links in the description below. You get a free stock, I get a free stock, and that's what helps me continue to create content like this for you guys. And as always, don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated.